Hello, my name is Daryl Norton. I'm a soil scientist uh, here today in Riverdale, uh, California, looking at a fairly newly established almond tree uh, orchard that's been planted with a, a new type of tillage system that we're interested in uh, called the gold plow, which uh, leaves a, a mulch on, of dry soil on the surface and uh, as you can see, uh, Sabio, who will talk here in a minute, uh, is digging a very moist soil uh, from the, the earth that uh, still retains moisture even though we've had very low humidity and no rainfall most of the summer. Uh, we're still getting good moisture conservation. And you can see from the, the health of the tree that it's not suffering any moisture stress. It's had minimal irrigations uh, since establishment and also has suffered uh, minimal mortality. I think there were 15 total uh, replants out of 2,400 total plants. So, uh, And it's very healthy. Uh, it's doing very, very well. And I, uh, I think the system is uh, very much of a success from what I can see. Sabio, do you have anything you'd like to add? Thank you, Daryl. Uh, hello, my name is Eusebio Ventura. I'm a professor at the University of Querétaro in Querétaro, Mexico, and also a visiting scientist to uh, Peru University. Uh, it really impresses me the way it works, the system works. Uh, as you can see here on this uh, uh, part of the soil, uh, the moisture content just underneath the, the, the soil mulch is greater you know, than the top because this actually serves as a mulch, protecting the moisture underneath. Uh, the principle of this technology is based on a uh, deep horizontal cut. And uh, this uh, technology actually tills the soil deeper than other technologies. Uh, by doing this, it creates porosity in the soil. The water goes deeper. And when you got water and oxygen deeper, deeper in the soil, uh, you can have also roots growing down further down. Uh, under this uh, condition then the roots will explore a larger volume of the soil and they can uptake nutrients and water uh, on a more easier way I'll say than, uh, than a different uh, uh, crop system that uh, conventionally is used in, in the valley. So there is a lot of benefits of this technology uh, but we can probably uh, summarize it by saying that this technology conserves soil and water and also creates a soil environment uh, pretty much suitable for growing any kind of crops as you can see on these almond trees they look very healthy they look uh, very turgent means it does, that doesn't, does, you don't see any water stress sign uh, in them and uh, mostly because of this uh, technology uh, we believe that this technology can uh, have a great impact on the water use uh, in the valley, it can be used extensively, and uh, we definitely recommend this technology to manage these fragile soils. As you can see, these soils don't have too much of an organic matter content, but uh, this way of managing the soil will avoid situations like this compaction, uh, soil crusting, soil sealing by tilling up the soil in the proper way. You have anything else to say, Daryl? Oh, this is a good example of. Uh soil ceiling that is broken up by the uh, horizontal tillage and you see remnants laying on the surface but when this is left intact there's a number of bad things that happen below the uh, surface one of which Eusebio mentioned is the uh, the oxygen exchange and uh, bad things happen to roots when uh, they don't have oxygen uh, a lot of diseases that normally would not be there can take over and cause uh, mortality in a wide range of crops that uh, just due to poor air water exchange. This capping as some soil scientists call it or a better term is uh, crusting when it's dry or surface sealing when it's moist uh, is bad for uh, not just oxygen ch exchange but water exchange getting the water down into the soil particularly uh, these soils that have some sodium in the system, uh, we find it even worse. And uh, 
it just has a very negative effect on water use efficiency when when this is left intact and traditionally in uh, our conservation tillage systems this capping or ceiling is left intact and has a very very negative effect on our uh, water use efficiency which of course is more and more important not just in the valley but even in rain, rain fed agriculture all over the world so and even more important in irrigated areas such as this so in this system without inverting the soil it still is uh, breaking it up leaving the loose material as a mulch to conserve the uh, the moisture that's put in there below Um, there is two points, two very important points to say about this technology. One of one of it is that uh, uh, it can be used to break up compaction. Uh, as Daryl was explaining, this very compacted layer won't let the water to get in or out, and the oxygen to move in and out, and that creates anaerobic conditions, very bad conditions for the crops to grow. Uh, the gold plow technology will break up the compaction of the soils and of course by doing this it will increase water infiltration and oxygen uh, movement into the soil. Uh, another important thing about the uh, technology, uh, gold plow technology will help you controlling weeds. You can have a view of this part of the, of the field and you can hardly see any wheat growing. Uh, this is very important because this is a, a way, a mechanical way of controlling weeds and uh, by reducing the amount of uh, herbicides that you use on your fields you are also contributing to a cleaner environment. Uh, you will keep soil contamination, air contamination and water contamination low and uh, this technology can be called a environmentally friendly technology.